Hello, and welcome to 3.14 FM. And uh, I'm Mr. Raj, your host, and today we'll be looking at some extension questions regarding the sign rule, and we'll be looking at the ambiguous case. So I'm making the assumption you're familiar with the other two sign rule videos I've made, in particular sign rule missing angles. Um, if you're not, go watch it. So, that said, by the time the countdown count was finished, I expect you to have answered these two questions side by side. That's right, side by side. And if you need more time, click pause. Hey Siri, can you play the countdown theme tune, please? Okay, let's see countdown theme conundrum clock by TV theme tune factory. Should be finished now because if that were enough time, you'd have clicked pause. If you click pause, welcome back. So we don't need. I'm not going to use that bit of the formula. So we have sine a over 17 equals sine 48 over 13. We then times by the 17, and that gives us this. And we press shift sign to get the answer. Yep, and what you would have noticed that would have been interesting would have been we've got the same numbers, haven't we? We've got sine less sine b instead of sine a, but it's over 17 equals sine 48 over 13. It's going to quickly lead to the same results. Now, are those triangles the same? No, so can they both be right? Obviously not. So what is happening? What curious thing is happening here? Well, if I take this triangle and put it next to this triangle, what do I get? What do I get? Exactly. I get a straight line. So you can see there, those two angles must add up to 180. Now, if we look at triangle A, um, angle A and angle B, which one is the acute angle? Angle A, agreed. So that means that if that is the acute angle, do we agree that B must be 180 minus the 76 we found just a second ago? Yes, yeah, so A is 76, but B will be, 104 degrees. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just rewind a little bit and play again. Keep doing that till it makes sense. Yeah, so now that you have been enlightened to the sign rule and the ambiguous case, then um, you can attempt this question. Yeah, so you know it's my favorite thing to do. Hey Siri, can you play the countdown theme tune, please? Okay, let's see Countdown Theme, Conundrum Clock, by TV Theme Tune. I agree, twice in one video is too much then. Yeah. Too late. Welcome back. So, let's get rid of that one. No, I've not got a fade there, so oops, silly me. So let's have, we've got sine x over 7.2 equals sine 29 over 4.2. That's the first one. 
obviously fainted them in at the wrong time. Um, then the opposite divided by 7.2 is timesing. And we do that, we do shift sign, and we get something. 56. Does that look like a acute angle? No. So what do you think we need to do? What must this be an example of? The ambiguous case. So it must be 180 minus 56, hence it's 124 degrees. I hope that makes sense. Check out my website, um, erasmus.com, if you want some extra questions. Um, yeah, um, I've been Mr. Raz. Thanks for listening.